Hey, Dobro players. Here are five licks that you absolutely must know if you're going to jam with your friends, play with your band, uh, play Carnegie Hall tomorrow, whatever it is you're going to do. Uh, these are things that desert island licks, let's call them. Dobro Desert Island. I wish there was a place like that. Anyway, the first one I'm going to show you is uh, sort of an intro to any any solo that you might take. And it's uh, hitting the, the, first, the D string, the fourth string, open. Then on the second fret, noting, noting it on the second fret. Flying over the third fret to the fourth fret. Then to the, to the fifth fret. Uh, so it, here it... And I put a little roll there at the end of it, which... Very slow. So the whole lick is. Okay, that's one lick. Next lick is a lick that was used by Shot Jackson, by every Dobro player that's ever lived. And But it was really Shot Jackson, uh, Josh Graves, and Bashful Brother Oswald all used this lick in their shows. It came from uh, uh, like Jimmy Rogers songs, like. Which is a Hawaiian lick that led to uh, Jimmy, Jimmy's songs and Jimmy Rogers songs. And then uh, Shot Jackson got a hold of it. And then Oswald probably played it. I'm starting with my fourth string in the down on the on in the uh, high G position, my twelfth fret on the fourth string. Then I'm striking my second string and also at the twelfth fret. Then I'm gonna do this little backpedaling thing here where I'm gonna strike the string, the fourth string on the twelfth, eleventh, tenth. Then I'll slide down to my fifth string and play the tw and then play the third string at the twelfth fret, and that's all over G, which I am tuned to right now. But it's a so there's that lick. Josh Graves played it, and Josh Graves would also add this other lick on that I I should show you that uh, I call it the throw your bar through the bedroom window lick if you're practicing and and uh, you got to be careful you got to have a good grip on your on your bar when you play this lick because it's a and if you don't hold on to the bar when you go sliding you can gone bar's gone you got to have a good grip on that bar the Josh Graves lick about throwing the bar through the window. I won't be hanging around is one example of a Flatten Scruggs tune he would have used this lick on. But he used it a lot to sort of put an exclamation point on the end of his solos. And the snap is coming from your... your you're playing your first string at the 12th position, striking the string and sliding it to the, tw to the 14th fret. And then coming back to the 12th fret again and striking the string again. And then hitting your second string at the 12th fret and sliding it backwards two frets, one whole step. And then resolving it at the, uh, at the on the G string, the third string on the 12th fret. The whole lick is. Then I'm just rolling down four, five, six at the at the 12th fret. There's a lick in the, that Oswald played in Wabash Cannonball that everybody plays it. I mean, it's like you can't play the song on a dobro without playing this lick. It was embellished upon by Josh Graves later on, but it's it goes. Now 
that's the that's the Oswald style. Josh Graves added a little bit of just a little bit of sass to it. <laughs> That's the way Josh Graves would have played it. A little more forceful. I mean, he was all about playing hard and playing. He really meant every note he ever played. On Wabash Cannonball, you're starting on your first fret. So I'm coming back from the fifth, posi fifth position on the first string to the third fret, sliding backwards and pulling off of that first string. and then sliding from the third string, just sort of sliding it from the second fret to the fourth fret, and then striking it open. Your fourth string down on the second, second fret. All these are noted. And then open after you've noted the, the second fret. I'm sliding on the fourth string up to the G position, up to the up to the fifth fret, hitting that twice, and doing the same thing that I did on the first string, coming back down, sliding off of that third to the second, and pulling off. When you pull off, you can actually snap the end of the bar off the off the end of the side of the string, and you can continue hearing another struck note, but it's a it's a pulled pulled note, pull off note. I'm, then I'm sliding from my on my sixth string from the second fret to the fourth fret, and then open. So the whole lick is. can end any solo that way. I can end the solo like uh There's one example. You can use that for the rest of your life. I hope you've enjoyed all these licks that I've shown you. This is Jerry Douglas coming to you from Nashville, Tennessee at the Fishman Showroom.